Well, tip of the spear, crack of my ass. Welcome to McBH Station, son. Here's your rations, an avocado quesadilla, and a water. Now get moving. Okay, avocado quesadilla doesn't sound too bad, I guess. I gotta climb that mountain now? Well, tip of the spear, crack of my ass. Welcome to McBH Station, son. Here's your rations, an avocado quesadilla, and a water. Now get moving. Okay, another one. Um, are you sure I'm supposed to be here again? I, I've already, I think I've already been here. Well, tip of the spear, crack of my ass. Welcome to McBH Station, son. Here's your rations, an avocado quesadilla, and a water. Now get moving. McBee, I, I think I've already been here. I don't, I don't, there's gotta be some kind of mistake. I, I don't think I'm supposed to be here again. Well, tip of the spear, crack of my ass. Welcome to McBH Station, son. Here's your rations, an avocado quesadilla, and a water. Now get moving. An avocado. <laughs> March 26th, 2021. This is the Badger Mountain Challenge. Hey, buddy! Is that us? No, here. Nice. down when the sun comes up? Yes. Yes. Let's just go with that. <laughs> yes, it does. Sure. Sure. I'll it's, take it. If <laughs> it doesn't, I want you to write a complaint letter. <laughs> More wind control. Yes. I got a trick science here. Everybody excited to race finally? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Me too. This is what you're looking for. Okay, if you're running down a trail and you don't see these for a long time, guess what? Any questions? No. Okay. Keep eating, keep drinking, take care of your feet. The Jeep trails are super dusty. I know because I marked that section. Baby wipes and clean socks. Keep your feet happy. If your gut feels like crap, it's because you need to eat and drink. Alright? I will see you in 50 minutes. Alright! Woo! Woo! Have fun. Hey, wait, why are we running? Because it's flat. Feels up hill. I don't really want to be in front of all these people, do you? Huh? You want to be in front of all these people? Nope. I just want to run right up to there. Perfect. You got to make a good start of it. You got to look like you do it. Oh. Ooh, I can take this stupid mask off. Alright, I'm already hot. That right there is Wes. Wes is running the 50. Wes is a cool guy. Nice to meet you, Wes. Dude, it's beautiful. Look at this. God dang. and I are on the walk the ups game plan. A lot of other people don't seem to be on that page. I don't know. Maybe they're running the 50. Sub 20. I don't know. We keep looking for Carl Meltzer, but we ain't seen him yet. Hey, Mom! 
That's not my mom. So, I think we made it to the top of Badger, eh? Now we're headed down. Woo! We've already done the river in the last place. <laughs> Yeah, we're at mile three or two, I don't know. We've already run more than our last several races. Maybe combined. I think I ran 30 feet at the Wonderland. All right, we just hit the first aid station, something like four miles in, and it's been a little under an hour. Already hot. How you feeling, Matt? Pretty bad, man. Oh, no. Is that bad, huh? Yeah, it's rough downhill. Oh. Very smooth. You want to just stop here? I might go see if I can take a nap. Oh. Anyway more bathrooms in the first four miles than all of <laughs> our past four races more than zero more than zero. all right well anyway we're stoked to be out here and four miles in we feel great We're just climbing up the second climb, Candy Mountain. Feeling pretty damn good. Feeling blessed to be out here. Of course, it is mile five. <laughs> but hey, let's take it and run with it, huh? Or in this case, walk. I see a bunch of shortcuts, Matt. Whew. Just incredible out here. There's Badger where we started. Matt keeps trying to want to run. So I'm a bitch. Back there's fourth place. Fifth place behind him. Yeah, we're right behind. All right. Yeah, see you later, mustache. So, there goes Corbin, or who we're gonna call Mustache, because of his glorious mustache. And we're at the top of Candy Mountain, just like that. Check that out. It's beautiful. Hill of Candy, and then just a bunch of flat, pretty much. Jeep roads and vineyards. We'll check in with you then. Woo, woo, woo. Woo. You see the rocks? 
rather dusty. No, there's no rocks. <laughs> I'm rather blind. Oh, are you? Here. That's all right. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. If you, if you fall, I'll stop. There's, there's nothing here. As you said, it caused my rock. <laughs> nah, it's flat. Take it, Clark. I could run through this for a while. Seriously, this is nice. Alright. Culvert. Sweet deal. So, there goes Luik. Very cool guy. Stop to tell us how much he liked watching us doing the Izzy Alps. So that's pretty rad. Said it inspired him. So thank you, Luik. You're the man. We are on these sort of never ending flat section of vineyards. Ran on the pavement for quite a bit, which is fine, but doesn't feel good in the S labs. More for trail. But yeah, so I think we got another mile or two to the second aid station. And then another like flat five miles after that. And then the big climb up to McBee. Here we go. Oh. I'll have to get a little food at this one. Hopefully. Do you need something now? Uh, I have the bills. Yeah, me too. I feel fine. That's what kills me at the start of the races. No! <laughs> <laughs> Like, I mean, that's <laughs> kind of ironic <laughs> to say that. <laughs> oh, that's what we were just talking about with that guy, Luik, is how crazy he was doing these just incredibly long runs with no aid stations. And now, today, every four or five miles, someone's gonna fill up our drinks, give us food if we need it. It's incredible. So we're pretty stoked. Like flying first class. Yeah, that's right, it's like flying first class. That's well, awesome. We we're in the, uh, more of a freight. <laughs> stowaways, we're stowaways busy. Yeah. Not even All right, let's patch the second aid station, mile 10. No, that's me. I got my own, I should probably get them out. Uh, feeling okay-ish. Yeah, okay-ish. Here we go. The famous Carl fucking Meltzer just ran by us. And I was too starstruck to get the camera out. Marcus. Yeah, he ran by pretty quick. I touched his hand. He said, Matt touched his hand. I tried to touch his butt, but I couldn't reach. He was too fast. And uh, he said, this one's gonna hurt, boys. So he kind of talked to us, which is cool. And Matt and I said, yeah, all 17 hours of it is gonna hurt, Carl. All 17 hours. Not for us, though. We'll be out here 30. <laughs> slogging away, Carl. Slogging away. While you go running up the road. Fine. Bye, Carl. What's that, Clark? Oh, this is brutal.
I gotta get my poles out. Right, Matt and I have just passed through mile 15, the third aid station, and it was a mighty fine one. Now, we got three miles of bullshit to the next aid station, and then the big climb up McBee. Here we go. Woo! Oh, my legs. Shit. <sighs> All right, McBee parking lot, mile 18 ish, and four hours in almost. And uh, just gonna start the climb up to McBee Ridge now. There it is. Woo! It is windy as hell. And I think tonight is gonna be pretty brutal when it's cold and then this crazy windy but we just hit our drop bags i got two gatorades some pizza and uh yeah let's do this shit you ready man perfect <laughs> holy shit mate that was actually a really hard fucking climb holy hell All right, halfway to halfway. Halfway to halfway. Beautiful aid station. Grilled cheese sandwiches, soup, water. Mm. How you like feeling there, Clark? I feel great. I love that soup. Mm. I think it was Campbell's. That's good, man. Mm. I don't feel great. But I guess that should be expected. I'm excited to be doing this. All these beautiful people. Okay. That's a beautiful mustache. Thank you. Oh, are we running? Okay. All right. I guess we're running. Oh, God, that hurts. Good job.
we're coming down the trail to McBee parking lot again. Man, the view is just incredible. We're both feeling pretty good right now. Just enjoying this. This is pretty awesome. Holy cow. We, uh, we just passed the amazing Van Fan. I'm sure she'll pass us back because she's kind of a rock star. That's cool. Nice to see her. Whew. I'm just stoked to be feeling good right now. It's awesome. I mean, what a perfect trail. Yeah, this is so nice. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, Matt and Mike back again. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. We just left the aid station at mile 40, uh, 10 miles to go to the turnaround. We got uh, Candy Mountain right up there. And then we go back over to Badger right there. And then we'll be back at the start. Sort of just chilling. I mean, things hurt, don't get me wrong. But, uh, we're trying to just relax. We go like 17, 18 minutes a mile average back to the start. Then we're like 12 hours for the first half, which gives us 20 hours to do the second half. This sounds pretty legit. So I don't know, things are going pretty well. Hmm. Put more water in your head? Yeah. Oh yeah, man, it feels so good. Right, so we hit the 50 mile checkpoint. I feel like shit. Probably haven't eaten enough, so I ate a bunch of food at 50 miles. Got dressed up warm. And uh, yeah, that's down there. And um, now we're headed into the night. Yippee. Fingers crossed, because I'm feeling pretty rough right now. What's up, guys? So we made it to the top of the first climb. And, uh, oh my God, now we're heading down, but I can't even run. I ate so much food at 50 miles because I was bonking hard that now I'm sick to my stomach. My stomach's all huge and bloated and I keep feeling like I'm going to throw up and, uh, yeah, I can't run. <laughs> so there's an update and we got this incredible sunset. Look at that. Ooh. Heading into the night. <sighs> the incredibly good news, though, is that we have 20 hours to finish this thing. So, unless we quit or do 30 minute miles the entire time, we're going to finish this thing. So, that's pretty cool. I'll check in with you soon. Okay, one more thing. Look at this incredible view. As bad as 
that hill right now. This is spectacular and I'm glad I'm out here. Okay, so let's turn our lights off. We don't know what this is that we're seeing. Shit. Can't turn it off. There we go. We don't know what this is that we're seeing, but I've never seen anything like it in my life. No, oh, that's not over there. It's right there. It's hard to see on the camera. I hope you can see it. It's like 30 or 40 stars in one straight line descending to the earth. I have never seen anything like it. That is fucking crazy. What do you think that is, man? <laughs> Dude. Uh, yeah, I know, it's moving down to the earth. I never, I have no idea. So, it is uh, something like 4 a.m. We're coming up on mile 80, and we're looking at these UFOs. Much. I can't even believe we're seeing this. I don't know. Oh, hey there. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, Mike, don't tell me you pulled another Wonderland and you didn't record any of the ending of the Badger Mountain 100. Well, you'd be thinking correctly. So, the last 20 miles, I forgot that I had another battery. So, after we recorded the alien incident, um, my battery died and I thought I didn't have another battery until the McB aid station, which was just in a couple miles. And so I got to the McB aid station and it was horribly windy and cold. And I actually hid in a porta potty uh, to just get out of the wind for a minute and to go through my things and try to find a battery and take some medication. And I couldn't find a battery. And I looked in my drop bag, which I thought I had a couple of batteries in, and I couldn't find a battery. So I ended up recording none of the last 20 miles and our incredible finish. We finished in 28 hours. We worked super hard. Uh, it's the fastest I've finished a 100 miler, which I know I'm not fast, but still, that's the fastest I've ever finished one. And um, yeah, I've got the uh, buckle to prove it. So this is kind of a cool little display that my wife made. And uh, right there, there she is. The Badger Mountain Challenge. 100 mile endurance run and we finished and we actually had a great time and matt and i both agreed that we'd probably go back there next year because it was such a great race so thanks for watching and uh hope to see you out on the trails